Hi there. Today I'd like to share with you a great partner area feature that can make publishing products even faster. With the template feature, you can now streamline the steps from design upload to publish products. You're going to find this is a real time saver. When publishing products, you can control everything from default colors, deactivated colors, design placement and size, and even product types. And with this feature, you can save these settings as a reusable template, saving you time and allowing you to achieve more in less. Let's have a look at how to use this functionality in your partner area. We'll start from within the design tab of the partner area. And let's start the product publishing journey as normal with this design. Click on the pencil edit icon to choose which products you wish to use for this design. As usual, go ahead and create a nice assortment for yourself. You can remove products from your assortment by clicking on the corresponding X and add products by clicking on add products. Let's do that now. Here you can see product categories on the left and the individual products on the right. Let's say for this example, we want to build a product assortment that includes men and women's t-shirts and remove all those other products. Well, that's easy. Click on each category you don't want, accessories, babies, kids, and click on select all, then deselect all for each category. Nice. Now we've narrowed it down to just men's and women's apparel. But now we want to limit it to t-shirts alone. Okay. Here's another little trick to get just t-shirts in your assortment. Click on the category men and repeat the select all and deselect all pattern. This turns off all men's apparel. Now click on t-shirts under the men's category and click select all. Now all the men's t-shirts and only the t-shirts are turned on. Repeat this for women's apparel. And voila, we have an assortment of just men's and women's merch. Click done to return to the previous page. Cool, our assortment shows these new selections. Awesome. Now we can take a few moments to really refine our products. By clicking on the pencil edit icon, we can directly edit each individual design in our assortment. We can alter the design size and placement. We can choose a default color. Maybe for this design we pick darker colors so our design can really pop. We can also turn off certain colors. Again, maybe we turn off the light colors so the design can shine. You can also change the print area from here as well. Great, this is looking good. Click Apply Changes to save these edits. Now that we are happy with this first product, let's repeat this for all of the products in your assortment. Resizing and positioning the design, choosing default colors and limiting others, and even changing the print area on a few. Continue this process until you're really happy with each and every product you see. Awesome, this is looking good already. Now because we've worked this assortment perfectly, we may want to reuse all of these changes on other designs we have in the partner area. This is where the template feature comes in. At the bottom of the page, click on Save as Template. Name your template something memorable. For this one, let's call it men and women for light designs. Note you can save up to 10 templates and even replace older templates. But it's important to note when you edit a template and save it using the replace template function, existing designs using the template you are replacing will remain unaffected by the changes you make. But for this demonstration, let's save this as new. Beautiful. Now you've saved all these settings and hard work for use later on for other designs. As always, continue the publishing journey for this design to create these products by clicking Next. You'll name your design and add a description and some tags so people can find your awesome work. Pick your points of sale. And then we'll set the design price. Boom! You're all set. These products have been successfully created. Now let's head back to create more products using that template we just created. Head back to see your other designs by clicking on the Design tab. And let's make products for, let's say, this design. Click on the Pencil Edit icon to start. Now there's a lot of merch on this page, but maybe we also want to limit this design to just men and women's t-shirts. Now we could repeat all the steps and build an assortment and then edit the colors and design placements for each product, or 
because we built a handy dandy template, we could just load that template and save a lot of time. So let's do that. Click on load template at the top of the page. From here, we can do a couple of things. We can load a predefined template already built in the system or load a template we've built ourselves. Let's load the one we just built called men and women for light designs. And look, so easy. All the preferences you outlined earlier and saved as this template have been applied to the assortment for this design. Everything from product selection to design placement and size to default colors and excluded colors have been applied. This is such a time saver. As before, continue the publishing journey. Name your design, add a description and tag so people can find your work, then pick points of sale and set your design price. Wow, that was smooth. Our template saved us a lot of time. You can create up to 10 templates to help you streamline your product creation. With templates, you can more quickly control product assortments and continue to upload designs and publish awesome merch. The hope is, with templates, you can upload designs and publish even more products with greater ease. Happy selling!